Welcome back everyone to Let's Play War on the Sea, episode number 7070. I, to be completely honest, had no idea, no expectation. In fact, I, I could have, if you had asked me to bet on the chances of me making it to episode 70, I would have, I would have given you um, odds against it. But here we are. So, you know, never say never, I guess. We had an unfortunate but heroic st last stand with the hull. It did sink. Both the transports are getting out alive, and the nice thing about it, I didn't really think about this until after the battle, but this entire group is uh, free of troops, free of everything. Like most of these guys are. So we're just maneuvering empty transports around. The only transport not empty is being, wait, nope, those are empty as well, yeah. So we don't have any uh, transports around here that we're really worried about, except for this one, which did successfully escape. Uh, so we have, you know, I'm not going to turn that one back around. Uh, in the meantime, I mean, there's several things we could do. I could bring my carrier task force back down to help hunt as well. I don't think it hurts to have me just bring it down a little bit. Just kind of tighten the noose. Um, I am expecting that uncle will be hit next so it's up to the man to show her stuff um, yeah so we will otherwise want to move troops and supplies out probably all destined for shortland islands i mean i'm just gonna make a game of it while we're here while we're continuing to advanced episodes might as well just continue to uh take over new places paint the, the map our color we also have some cruisers that have you know, finished their previous operation, or actually just finished their rearmament. And I'm thinking, let's go in for another uh, another strike. Can I do it this way? Yep. So let's go all the way over here. We can hang out basically anywhere over here we want. 16 hours. So this is actually good prep for next for next time. Yeah, so I guess we'll we'll march each of these on down over there as best we can. Seventeen hours, okay, good. And we want well, if we're sending, are we sending our battleships already? We haven't sent the Washington yet. But I think we will. Let's get her to do the same thing. And over here as well, 19 hours on her. I don't know why, maybe she's lagging a little bit behind. Okay, so let's move forward. We're expecting that basically something's gonna happen around here. Yeah, the two transports by, them, by their lonesome will continue their fleeing course to Russell. Again, we expect that Uncle will be the recipient of those. What? How many destroyers are left? I mean, it's four, I think, and two of them are damaged. And everyone seems to be doing something. The right thing. I shifted these guys north a little bit. I don't think I did that on camera. That was probably off camera. Uh, some destroyers disappeared from this area, so that's... Well, we hope that they come back. There they are. Right on cue. I might actually need Uncle to go back. Just because I'm not sure. Maybe we're going to miss... Oh, what? we got him. Okay, so we have a good fight here. Let's go to... Radar and radar and turn off fire at will. Let's go ahead and start. I don't know what. Let's see what exactly we're gonna do here. Ah man, it's so cool to be in this area though. There's just just because of the history. Excuse me. really need to increase speed. I think we're fine there. We're just waiting to see them. 
oftentimes I find you see them this way before you see them any other way. I mean, hey, if we can take, if we can pick out trees up, if I see them, and basically do south, that should be good for us as far as spotting, as far as spotting goes. I see them. One, two, three. We have three confirmed contacts, but not sure if what else we have. I know, of course, that there's four there, but my, that you know, we can role play some interesting scenario where we don't know that. Let's kick this up. deal with this, so HE narrow manual fire. I, I can't see him in this view, so I'll just close. Too bad that like viewing them in this screen doesn't doesn't help. I definitely see that. They actually look pretty close, too. And they actually came across, like, their, the bearing movement is pretty quick. No, sorry, not the bearing movement, yeah. Um, okay, we got them. Important shift west and prepare to fire. Let's identify our target first. Alright, that is four of them, as expected. Alright, we've targeted the Fubuki first, it looks like. And that's the only one we have right now. So let's go ahead and start laying into her. Okay. Oh, there's there's number two. What do we have here? Also a Fubuki? Ah, I, I forgot that there's two in this. Maybe get number two to target number two. Number one, you continue to target number one. In the, I mean, in theory. You're targeting one. Charging two, good. Just to get the, the you know, the whatever. I mean, basically for torpedoes, I think. Okay, so let's start getting our guns going. They don't know we're here yet. Prepare to fire. Make sure we've turned enough. How close? 9,000, so there's going to be a bit of time before these land. Oh, they just started. That, that means that's completely null and void since they are, yep, turning. No, that's not going to do it. Something more like that. Well, they have this collision course, so I have to say there's kind of some fun stuff going on there. Let's just get all kinds of gunfire going on in the same place. Hmm, close. I will expect her to return to starboard, since, you know, collision course and all that. Ralph, you did you did well. Let's actually keep you firing there, just in case we manage to get a hit on Fubuki instead. Oh, we got a hit! Hooray! That was fair good. 
Okay, let's maneuver, uh, move the move the range. I do want them to break and reform up, though, um, at a larger distance. Yeah. Okay, do that. Um, you hold fire. Farragut, that's the one I want. Let's bring the. Looks like they're kind of ooh doing something funky. More hits. I can't tell if this is smoke screen or, or fire. Wow, we are definitely getting hits. Man, that is fantastic. And they are going to collide if they keep going like that. Okay, we know what's going to happen if they collide, though. We should aim right at it. Yep, just perfect. Huh, I wonder what happened. The, you know, why we can't see them suddenly. Yeah. Written. <laughs> I don't see too much damage or fire or flooding or anything like that, so there's hope. Yeah. I'm really surprised that we can't see anything, but hey, we're landing hits. That's all that matters. I would really like to get Ralph Talbot in, in on this, but... If I click on her, unfortunately, we're going to lose our position here. And we know we still have them uh, bracketed, so... Oh, still landing hits. And we also know that they're both damaged from the collision itself. That is what I feared, though, that we are moving a little bit too far. Oh, we got him, we got him, now. Okay. This is not who we wanted to get, but it's somebody to... I wish we knew exactly where we were firing right now. So basically on a collision course with, with where she's going, but then a little bit this way. Alright, so she's going this way, then back a little bit. Just try here. <laughs> we'll dial it in just by <laughs> manual correction. Yeah, so they are just to the right of her midship. And basically going after first. Let's try that. Get some more hits, hurry! Oh, we got him now. Well, we haven't even identified number three. What is she? She's uh, got the dual guns on the rear. So, Kamikaze? Nope. Mutsu Matsuki, because she only has one torpedo, not two. Okay, fair enough. And four, we might as well identify all of them, right? Another Fubuki? This is crazy. Well, we got our hands full, don't we? While we're stopped, let's just take a quick fire control check, or whatever. Uh, damage control check. We are looking very good. Okay, so. Turn to the, the game that's afoot right now, which is sinking the first Kabuki. Wish I could just actually tell all ships... I do it this way. I wonder if this works. Does Talbot start firing? I doubt it. We are doing some good work bracketing her.
don't think this is more than one destroyer coming in, though. Nice hits. To me, it's just funny that she's taking a lot of damage. Probably would have... I don't know. Anyway. Okay, so we can aim at another one now, since we no longer are able to really do anything for the one that's gone. By the way, what is the situation here? Yeah, I think we will go ahead and turn towards... Things are looking good so far. Hold fire. And we'll probably start trying to pick off number two here. Actually, the Matsuki is damaged. Let's just go for her. Had to mute just in time for a sneeze. Looks like I, unless I move my mouse cursor when I sneeze, which is not unlikely, but it looks like I'm gonna miss. Sit a little bit further away. I don't even know where these are. Ah, they were pretty good. But I think we got a couple barrages off before I retargeted anyway. Ah, look at that. I hit. Couple hits. Good. Good, good, good. How's this one doing? I mean, she's limping. I really wish we could see her. She would be a nice, easy target right now. Instead, we're uh, firing at this one. Which is okay. I mean, we can do that. Did we reestablish contact? Oh, we did. Oh, this is it. All guns. Change focus. Actually, we want both. Probably I want to lead her e even more. Mm. I mean, if we can sink the one Fubuki, that'll already be a pretty big victory. It's just a matter of uh, slowly, slowly wearing them down. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Nice, very nice. We do have to continue to move our fire, though. Yeah, we're going to start missing. Get her! Get her! Get her! See if these next ones come in all right. Did not get her. We did not do it. And I, I keep feeling like I'm actually leading her, or like overshooting her a bit. And let's pick up the speed as well. That was good. That was better. All right, that's that's good. Whatever we're gonna do there is good. Yeah, now we're finally overshooting her a bit. Man, just still right in the middle. better. Oh, wait, no, that's that's them firing at us. <laughs> not better. Definitely not better. 
Oh, we're out of the ammunition? Well, that is problematic, isn't it? Certainly a reason to just fire. Oh, torpedoes in the water. Well, hello. They just really messed it up. Probably because of my, like, inadvertently because of my maneuvering. And I guess we can target this ship, which is, you know, like, so close to us. And basically just go for it. So let's have Farragut, who, let's see what your ammunition status is. Have you hold fire? Ralph Talbot, we're going to give you the, the opportunity on this one. Just want to make sure we're not going to be hit by torpedoes, but it looks okay. Let's see if we're getting close to this Fubuki. Yeah. I mean, I feel their frustration missing <laughs> with torpedoes. Happens to the best of us. Hmm. Getting some hits, though. In fact, I it's probably worth it. That scared the crap out of me. It's probably worth it just to do double duty here. Those shells land quickly. We can probably go pretty close to her. Alright. We got the range. Now we just need to hit. Nice, two hits. And she's turning now, probably because she's like, oh crap, <laughs> they have the range. <laughs> Ralph Talbot's really doing a number. Shift fire, shift fire. Yep, ah, still getting hits, nice. More hits. Probably taking damage too. Nice. More hits. Okay, keep adjusting fire. Starting to miss there, but we'll we'll dial it back in. Looking good. Looking good. Oh, she's swinging towards. Those won't be the best. We're still getting hits, though. I think we're doing pretty darn good, getting a lot of hits. I don't think torpedoes would be very useful against these destroyers, though. They're just going to maneuver so much, we'll, we'll miss them a bunch. And despite this being a point in time when it would be v actually very difficult to um, to miss, because the flatter trajectories at this range would just mean you'd be hitting like constantly. But that's not the way it works in this game because it appears that it's just like it just drops them on the water from the sky like a bomb. <clears throat> so there's no like pass through effect or there's no like shell trajectory. That's what I'm trying to say. Not sure if it's true, but it does seem like you can get misses on the opposite side of a ship, which, I mean, the only way it could have gone there is by going through the hole of the ship to begin with. This one is, I think, a goner. Nice. More hits. Farragut, you just stop firing now, and we'll focus only on the Ralph Talbot. So it ended up being a an unexpected kill, I would say. Put it that way. Nice. Lots more hits. Fantastic. And just when we're starting to miss, we move forward with our fire. Now, I want to turn in uh, again, 
still hunting for that damaged one. So I, I'm kind of thinking we can call off the gunfire on this one. <clears throat> as a, as a com not yet confirmed kill, but really, it's got to be, right? <clears throat> Maybe just one more barrage or so. Okay, um, that's enough. Oh yeah, but she's still firing. If she's still firing, we need to still hit. Sink her faster, basically. <clears throat> that was a lot of fire, though. <laughs> she's a flame from stem to stern. Alright, I will hold fire after this. That's good. Maybe one more. Hmm short on those. Yeah, I mean, she's coming. She's she's sunk. Yeah. yeah Converbs it. <clears throat> Fantastic job. Okay, now our next target is this one, right? No, that's not the one. <clears throat> so somewhere behind... Oh, the, this is number one. This is the damaged one. In fact, this is our target. Then. This is the one we would like to finish off. Let me just take damage control again. Shows that we have been basically unscathed. Let's go to max speed. And let's pursue. What's their speed? I guess I should target them. Yeah, 26. So we should catch. I'm just surprised that this is... Oh, oh I see. So, number one is, must be going slower, because there are, yeah, number two is much further away. So yeah, definitely want to close to number one, and try our best to put in some more gunfire with her. I'm not sure if any of the damage we've done to her has stuck, though. They will just repair. Let's start getting some prime, ah, is it time yet? I think so. How far away are you? 6,000. Not too far. Start putting some guns over there. Now turn in and fire. Just like they're firing with their rears, we're fi firing with our only our forwards. Okay, missed her a little bit to a little bit far. Oh, we actually got a hit there. Try that again. <clears throat> so Talbot or Fergie could not even fire. There's no Oh no, she does have Yeah, no, she only has rear. Okay, that looked really good for the next shot, which means I probably already should start aiming. Next one. Was that a hit, or was that gunfire? I didn't really see it. It's gonna be hard, oh, that was a hit, nice. Just need to start some fires, and then start more fires, and then, you know how it goes. There's one thing slowly snowball it. If we could take out this Fubuki, they only have two left, and I really won't feel that threatened by just two destroyers wandering behind my lines. Are we out of guns that bear? We are. Okay. Kept waiting for the next one to go. I think we did actually start a fire there. So the only way we can do this is if we just swing across. And and this is going to take kind of a, this maneuver is a kind of a long one, but eventually our our rears will come into play. And at 37 knots, we may may just do it. 
Yeah, I think we will close in enough for this to work. Her speed is now 29 though, so she's <laughs> she's not trying to stick around. This range is definitely closing though. All right, so let's slow this down. <clears throat> when can I get my rears to bear? None. No, not not yet. Not yet. Hold fire. Okay, but it should happen soon. We can kind of force it, just turn a little bit more. Okay, straighten up. That should be good. Good, we got her. And she has a fire going too. Need these to be hits. Okay, that was not bad. We'll get a second round going. Two close ones. But that's not going to cut it. We need better than close. We need hits. Oh, I don't know. Maybe those are counting as like near misses. Hope so. Okay, leaving her too much is the moral of the story. Now we got it. <clears throat> okay, close. That might have been one hit. Speed is going down. Ah, we're out of. I need to turn a little bit more back. That's all we need. Oh, yeah, but that one's going to miss for sure. Let's try this again. She is slowing down to down to 22. Oh, two hits. That's perfect. Give me more of that. Okay, try it again. Lots of ammunition left in the rears. Just need to hit them. Nice. Two good hits. Or one good hit, one near miss, which may have been a hit. I don't know. Okay, try that again, but man, she's down to 19 knots, which also means we can let these fly for a little bit longer before we change them. Son, that's a good hit. <clears throat> okay, let's get the Ralph Talbot involved now. Okay, we have some ammunition which is gonna, you know, get it over there. I think we've already got a kill though. Down to 16 knots, we keep hit, just keep hitting too. All right, let's hold fire and let me do some ammunition count here. Tons on the Ralph Talbot, so Ralph Talbot's gonna be the one to do it. And Farragut with only 81 shells left is gonna hold those. So Ralph Talbot has tons of rear ammunition. So that is gonna be the one that gets it done. Man, yeah, she's going down. Good fight, good fight. Okay. Continue to fire. I don't think she's long for the world, but we'll continue to well, she's not on fire anymore. Yeah, maybe we aren't gonna get her. That would be disheartening after all this effort. Okay, figure it, you do need a turn. 
protect. We need to turn like this. <laughs> we may even lose the rears for a little bit here, but we need to make sure that we're uh, not going to lose her. And she's going slow, 16 knots. Another hit. I'm just waiting for the moment when my shells aren't even um, firing anymore. They're still firing though. She's going 16 knots, but she's still turning fire, too. Stubborn old girl. Rear turrets seem to be down. Either out of ammunition, which could be true. They've been firing a lot at us. But the forwards are still <laughs> still barren. Fire as you bear. Well, I think I'll pause and I'll come back when this is done. Okay, we did it. She's going down. All right, well, that's all I'm gonna accomplish in this one. So, two sunk, one with moderate damage, and one with minor damage. I mean, this is not a very capable group wandering about at this point. We will leave our ASW group lingering around just in case they do come to and you know, try their luck again. That is going to give me the confidence to send the carrier task force back out. I am going to continue to pull back the... Well, what exactly is the best thing for you to do? It really, it's to catch people right here. Just don't let them buy. That's the main thing. Don't let them buy. Now, what's everyone else's deal right now? Good question. Well, we're only an hour away from being able to launch airstrikes. So that's going to solve this problem very quickly. Two destroyers by themselves. So let's move ASW back up to the tip here. I think just right here to prevent them from... I mean, just, again, we want to scan and find where the enemy is. I expect at noon that Florida Islands will fall. They should only have like 10 men. So, unless we get very unlucky, that should fall. Yeah, I think we're just waiting for the carriers now. Air operations are now available. Okay. Well, let me pause again because I do want to do some pretty, uh, like, precise scouting. See where these carriers or carrier might be. Okay, well, I was a little bit lazy, but not fully. I launched just a lot of scouts from the air bases. I am gonna do these land, uh, sorry, uh, naval airstrikes. The dive bombers just slowly whittle down the destroyers. Of course, I don't want to get beyond a certain point, lest I forget, which I had forgotten before I did this. I think it's, what is it, a hundred? What are the rules? Um, I know there's an additional rule though where it's like, you know, if you sink uh, 200 or whatever, 100 more aircraft or just ships than you've lost. I've only lost five ships, that's, I'm just way over that. I mean, 197 sunk. So it must have been at 195 before. Yeah, oh my gosh, that's a lot of ships. Anyway, uh, let's. Yeah, I mean, we'll just go for it anyway. I'm not... I was worried about maybe winning the game by accident, by sinking too many, but I must not have that victory option enabled, which is fine by me. So I probably won't do this on camera, though. Well, it's... Uh, okay, one, I'll do one on camera. It's nice that the dive bombers don't need any, like, special lowering of altitude or anything like that. Oh, 
right. Looks good. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. We should identify them just to make sure we get more hits. This is a sad group. Okay, they do have one modern. Is this just an Asashio? Yeah, I believe so. Well, we'll mark it like this, but I don't know which one it'll be. And that'll probably be the focus. We'll send maybe like one group of three after someone else. Looks like there's a Fubuki in the group too. That's pretty threatening. That could be the target. <clears throat> um, I would like to go after one of these with the one of the groups of three, though. Since this is only a group of four, yeah, okay, let's... Let's walk a talkie. All right, so, who goes after what? Let's go after the Fubuki. Nine will go after the walkie-talkie. All right, here we go. There they are. Well, let us get pretty far without taking off pause, which I, I interpret as a good sign. Again, we're just hoping that nine of these uh, Dauntless Dive Bombers is enough to take out one destroyer. It needs maybe like four bomb hits to get the job done, especially with the 1000s. Does end up being like shotgun technique. Yeah, this is a good sign. This is a good sign. Very good sign. And we do have at least one hit here. So what I think is going to happen is the Fubuki, yeah, Fubuki should go down. And then I'll end the battle pretty quickly while the Wakataki is still damaged. Okay, well, could do it right away, I guess. And while she's still, oh my gosh, boy fortunes favor us, huh? She's got a fire now because of that. Is it possible she could die from that? Now I'm not sure. Maybe. No, I don't think so. I think she's gonna be okay. She does have heavy damage, but now I think she takes that with her. Asashi also has some moderate damage, must have been a different encounter. Okay, RTB. So I'll continue to do those runs, but I, I think I'll be doing little jump cuts. I mean, pausing the video, basically, when those are happening. Hornet's ready to launch more aircraft. Well, that's, wow, crazy how quickly we can do this. I don't, I want to know where my, are these scouts? They, yeah, they're, I was like, they better be on their way out, because I, I haven't looked. I haven't been paying attention. The plan here was to remove, um, I don't think we need to remove, oh, is it 2,000 supply? And that'll leave us with 600? Well, 600 is enough. This is the level one port, though, so I probably don't want that. Let me just... Let me get the first guy to offload his. He's probably the more likely to be targeted. And where are we going to run 2,000 more supply? You know, I think the best place for us to run the supply would be Shortland Islands. I just... I was about to do it. 
Um, I'm making very quick decisions here. Well, I mean, relatively. Uh, so I was going to send this guy forward to um, drop the supply off of Shortland Islands. I don't think that's a good idea, though, because this is unescorted. So what I'm going to do instead is send this one back over here, drop off supply, get somebody else to pick up the supply and the troops, and then move over to Shortland Islands. Actually, I'll, yeah, this is what I'll do. I'll move you over to here, and then I'll get Convoy Uncle to load up from Guadalcanal. Good. We're going to want some troops and some supplies. So let's not get the destroyer to have anything because they may end up seeing action, turns out. Troops and supply. Uh, okay, so let's do it this way. Let's do troops and troops and then go back, go back. 366 troops. Now offload these guys, so we want still 1,250 troops here, just to save it. Then we'll get more supply, I guess. We actually need quite a lot of supply, but let's take 2,000 more supply. And Convoy Uncle is going to go really heavy on the raid. Wait, what, what, what? what? Okay, I was like, wait. <laughs> oh, because we, yeah, we did pull all the troops off. Um, actually, we can take a little bit more supply because we do have these guys coming in with 2,000 more. Okay, so yeah, let's take another group of supply. How much can you carry? I don't want to mess with it just in case. Okay, good. So now set your course for adventure. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to use the top route or not, but we'll start off that way. And that's all we can do in this episode. Okay, so maybe I should do a little bit of pushing. Well, ah, let's do just a little bit. Gotta see where these scouts are going. Okay, they are running that way. I mean, that is pretty close to my carrier, so I'm going to have to go after them, it turns out. We can probably do this with just my... Um, or, um, rocket launchers. Okay. But otherwise, I mean, mainly I want to see what the scouts are going to find. Oh, okay. Well, we're stuck in the fight now, so let's do it. This is a little bit dangerous. <laughs> okay. We got two destroyers left here. And I think one of them is damaged as well. Well, um, let's just, I don't know, you know what, I don't care. Go in. Go in. Could send the Dauntlesses over. I mean, they're they're empty on bombs. Some of them are damaged, but I mean, we could also win this fight if the I mean, if the Avengers don't get the job done, then we will we'll go in with our ships. I think they're screening for me at this point. Really hard to see where my aircraft are. There they are. I don't know how they would be able to see anything in this, which is hilarious. Looks like it's gonna be enough for some kills. I mean, that is some deadly fire. So let's switch back over and turn off, by the way, everybody's fire at will. Please don't. And then, let's just turn Mugford around.
Get her up to speed. And chase these other ones down. Yeah, they were able to put star shells up. Oh. So did they find me in time? I mean, did they actually fire at me? Uh, okay, so the one that I don't want to fight is definitely the one still in the fight. And that is a Fubuki, I would say. Doesn't have her guns turn, though, so I don't think that they're doing anything yet. By the way, I need to do, uh, stop fire, cease fire, cease fire, and secondaries, cease fire, okay, you as well, cease fire. And you, I don't know, are you firing? Cease fire. I don't know who's firing what. Identify you as a Fubuki. And then let's see if we can get just enough hits from the Mugford to, to bring her out, to take her out. You know, uh, that's perfect. She's far away. It's going to take some real effort. The good news is that if she doesn't sink, she's going to, at least going to be going very slow. See that we're already past the 50 minute mark. That's something. Well, I do want to chase her down, though. Okay, let me just pause and she might, I think she'll sink on her own. But if she doesn't, I'll chase her down. Well, I think they pulled a trick, uh, one of my tricks. I actually scouted like the whole area. I'm actually next to the sunk ship, which I've now detected, and I still have not found their ship, which means I think that they left the battle, which is probably confirmed by that. There was zero seconds to leave. Okay, well, um, RTB as well, I guess. Um, we'll have to make do with knowing there's one wounded destroyer out there, but for now, let's call this video to a close. We'll look. Well, we'll continue to look. Uh, we'll look a little bit further real fast. It's the, this is the important time. Eight, six, three. That is just crap. I don't want to deal with the strikes on those, but... The main thing is, what is up here? And we didn't get anything. No hits. Just three destroyers. Okay, so let's call this video to a close here. Three destroyers here, one destroyer here. Those are good targets. For some naval, some naval airstrikes. I may even do some of this off camera, but we really are getting close to the end. I just really wanted to fight a carrier before all this went down. If we don't see a carrier, I will just end the series. So, I mean, that, we've done everything else we need to do. Until the next one, then. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and take care.